Okay, internet people. Hey, this is Shelly. We got a few things. I'll probably have to turn put these on. Yeah. Got a few things that I'm going to share with you today. And give you just a quick tour and an update on what's kind of going on here. And then if you stay for the end, I want to talk about uh, a few of the crazy goals I've got. And I have some questions that maybe you can help me on. Um that we'll talk about then of uh, how to do some kind of well we'll talk about it then we'll save it till that time so here we go hey baby <clears throat> okay let's get over here real quick all of these babies are doing fantastic they love for it to rain it just rained and you'll see the mallard girl there and she's the dark one, the brownish one. The boys have their green head, if you don't know, and the others, Cayuga. And quickly, let me see if I can show you these. Try not to make this video too long. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, baby babies. Hey, baby babies. These are, let's see, these chickies are gosh about a week old mama's taking good care of them <laughs> and she's got them out exercising all over the backyard showing them where to scratch so we're working it's working out really well 11 chickies I don't know if they're male or female I'm sure there's a mixture so we'll run back here real quick I apologize for the movement of the camera but while our girl mallard is um out getting her a few things to eat i'll show you this is where she's been sitting these eggs have let's see they should start hatching about monday tuesday so we're looking at just a little less than a week it's a 28 day process for duck eggs and I'll show you one other thing with the Cayugas the ones that look black but have a lot of green and blue if you see them in the sunshine so we'll go in with this is chicken coop and <clears throat> our female Cayuga is she's starting to set but it's just for a little while so right now it may be just she's setting for a little while to lay her eggs to make sure she has a big group before she starts setting and she's bigger she'll probably be able to cover up all these eggs our mallard and i'll say both of these are or all of these are almost a year old i got them in june okay go on to the next and then I'll talk to you about what crazy plan I'm thinking of which can easily change okay I guess I could quickly say that I'm working on doing a natural filter for the water um, and I can tell you more about that if you're interested and something I noticed is the grapevines are starting to come out and quickly first year to ever have gosh I don't know if you can see it on here blooms on the apple tree gosh this apple tree is probably almost five years old so luckily hey 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 we'll see what happens now we'll head this way quickly and I'll show you <clears throat> Well, forewarning, I don't have any carpentry skills or any practice, but I guess I'm learning. <clears throat> so, since chicks and ducks are in the back, my vegetable garden needed to move to the front. So, I chose the south side of the house. And these look really, if you look at my workmanship on the raised beds, you'll be sorely disappointed. So, the dark is manure that I was able to get from my grandfather's barn. And I've been layering 
<clears throat> excuse me, to build up the soil, layering uh, the little bit of hay and manure. And this is its first year. These went in, mm, could be about two weeks ago. Alrighty, let's see our last update. And this one over here, I'm kind of working on. So it's always a work in progress. <clears throat> okay, I got this as a gift from my son and daughter-in-law family. So there's an apricot coming. <laughs> But it just got in the ground recently. And my new surprise, and I'm so thrilled about, is the peach trees. So, trying to figure out where to plant them right now. And um, where I can make sure that they get a little dribble of water. The first year, from what I understand, really need to be babied. Okay. Okay, I'm back. So, just a quick talk. Hopefully I can keep this brief and not take up too much of your time. I'm looking at doing some experiments that I think will be fun. Um, which ultimately, maybe it'll be a whole year without any city water. And I'll talk to you about that another day. And then we'll add to it <clears throat> off the grid and how to figure out some of those problems, what what to do. <clears throat> it's gonna be a little easier for me than some. Everybody's situation's different. But since I rarely eat any red meat, unless I'm at the location that's serving it or if my kids are here, I serve it since they do eat a lot. <laughs> that's Aki. Um, <clears throat> but I still eat some chicken Excuse me, and I have chickens. I just don't know if I could process one. But we'll see how that goes. And uh, and I love fish. So apparently I'm going to start learning how to fish. That'll be kind of a cool adventure. So what I need help on are some things I'm having trouble figuring out. One is for pets. I need to learn about how to make some type of dog food and um, I guess and cat food as well. I think I have Aki, my macaw, covered. Um, she eats a lot of, she loves sweet peas. She likes bread and I can easily make bread with the eggs and make the rice milk, which is quick and easy and expensive. But the nuts, I know I can grow. Sunflowers are easy, easy to grow, but I'm not sure I could grow enough for a year. So, help me with the pet situation. Give me tips down below. Maybe links to whatever information you have. And the other thing that's going to be a big issue is figuring out how to go without a fridge. A freezer so obviously I could put ice in a a little camping kind of ice container I already have the Jackery which is going to help out but it's not going to have <laughs> enough solar energy to actually power the fridge and the other things I'll need there would, one thing I'm going to keep is internet um, so I can stay connected and, you know, people who know me, um, how many years ago, I disconnected from cable. And that's been really cool. There were a few shows I didn't get to see, but I learned how to spend my time in different ways that was actually more helpful um, than having all that, those hours of entertainment where I would go from one show to whatever the next show was. So... Hi, I think I kept this short enough. I need help with pet food. I need help with ideas for going without a fridge. I used to have my grandfather's ice box, but um, someone else in the family 
really wanted it. So it's possible I could see if I could, um, I don't think they're using it, see if I could maybe borrow it a year. That That's a good option because it, it's large enough for my needs. Otherwise, I'm going to dehydrate the food from the garden and can and hopefully have enough food. We'll see. And then the water harvesting. We can talk to you about that another day. All right, Internet people, thanks for your help, and I'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.